We absolutely did it. It is one of the cooler things I have ever done in this game. A giant Triceratops mosaic turned out pretty fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another ARC building video with the best builder in the game. Or I'm trying to be. So we have something a little out of the box for you guys today. A little outside of the norm. And I hope it's not too crazy, but take a look at what I've been working on. You literally can't zoom out far enough. So what I have here is a massive 36 long stretch of wall. Now, I don't think I'll be using the full height of it, but we went and built it 24 walls high. And uh, then on top of that, I went and spray painted everything in tan. That is so that the patterns in the Adobe stand out less. Um, normally, if this is, uh, let's go ahead and just do this. That stands out a little more, the contrast between the stucco bit and the brick bit. So we've gone ahead and spray painted everything. So it is a nice, smooth looking thing. And what we're going to attempt to do today, guys, is create a mosaic to use wooden walls, window frames, etc., to create an image on this wall. And I think our final one will be about 13 blocks high. We're going to leave one row of untouched walls at the bottom. And you know what? Maybe just to be safe, let's leave two rows of untouched walls at the bottom. Uh, then we will have 11 blocks of design, and then we'll have two extra. So we'll, I guess we'll be close to 15 if you include the untouched bits. Um, and we are going to start uh, the, the idea, the image that I would like to bring to life here is one of a charging triceratops. And I will do some of this on camera, and then I will do more of it off camera. Uh, but the bit that's on camera, just to refresh my memory... Let's start right there, if we're going to add a second row. So uh, the the image, first of all, my inspiration comes from uh, a Minecraft series I love, where one of the, uh, where the builder basically created a mosaic of two bulls charging each other on a wall. And he had about eight blocks high and maybe 20-something wide. And in ARC, we can basically work with the same constraints. This is going to be essentially pixel art. And the way that I did that, guys, I found an image of a charging Triceratops that I liked a lot and decided, this is cool. This is what we're going to attempt to, to do today for the art. And once I did that, uh, I took that image and I put it in Photoshop and it started off, you know, a thousand by 500 or so pixels. And I was able to reduce it to 36 by 24. Now, obviously for me, that leaves a lot of space at the top and the bottom as we'll only be using 15 blocks or so of height. And um, I adjusted the contrast and things until it was, you know, very close to a, a two or three color image. Um, I wanted it to look almost like a black and white. And then once I had done that, guys, or once I had adjusted the coloring, I was able to resize the image. And if you use in Photoshop the nearest neighbor uh, resizing metric, it sort of has different options for how to resize an image. Should it try and give you all the colors? Should it try and create hard edges? This is the preserve hard edges option. We're beginning to lay out a shape uh, that we can that we can then turn into something. So uh, I'm hoping this is going to work. But you can begin to see this the shape of a charging triceratops in there, guys. Now, I may have to try this a few times in order to get something that doesn't look too funky. And I don't know how how we're going to look for an eye. I don't know if that's going to look way too tiny. But if you did something like this, and then, whoops. And then here you had the front horn. So we would go like this, and maybe like that. So that is the that is the first horn, uh, the two big horns. This is the smaller one. And then we're going to come down, and we're going to have to have a mouth shape. So that is going to be something like that. Obviously, this space here would be all filled in. God, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get this thing to look good. But, um, but it's a cool concept. I wonder, I, I may do a little of this build off camera here for you guys and come back to you when it's starting to look uh, special. And welcome back, guys. All right, I have been working out, working at this. We ended up being 27 by 11, something like that. So you end up with a total, if you want to have a, a space around the outside, 29 by 13. Now, you could obviously do any design you like. I don't know what you think of this. Let me know how I did. Uh, I think maybe maybe the frill needs to be higher or something like that. There's something that's a little off, that's a little wacky when it comes to the design. But um, for a first attempt, it's not terrible. Now, on its own, that does look a little blah. We're not used to pixel art in this game. Um, you know, 
really not really a thing that we do. But uh, for a first try, really not terrible. And I only used two materials. We didn't use any paint, which of course would make this a crazy possibility. If you have paint and you have a, a space this big, you could probably do a crazy image uh, from pixel art. You could probably do just about anything. Um, now, just wanted to show you guys. It looks a little bland on its own. I'm going to use some big S plus XL walls here and just give you a quick uh, feeling of what this would look like if it wasn't a main focal point. If, for example, you kind of hit it behind some pillars, and this is what the Minecraft version looked like. Um, we'll just slap these in here real fast. And uh, I built this all using vanilla, guys, but if you do have S plus, there are parts of this build that could go a lot faster using the four tall or the 12 tall walls. Uh, which is what we've got here. I just couldn't do that knowing I was going to be replacing it with uh, stone or with uh, some of the adobe with wood. So let's go ahead and slap those in. And now let's back up at it and, and take a look at it and see. See, now that it's a little bit hidden, I mean, those haven't been painted to match. But now that it's a little bit hidden, it's a little bit less obvious. Now, you might want to have those come out a little bit further. Uh, the way shadows work in this game is a little funky. You can see them just appearing as I get close. But it's a it's kind of a neat concept. Um, we've done something that I, I wasn't sure you could properly do in this game. Um, and you totally can. Okay, that's cool. So all this stuff getting wrecked. Beautiful. So that's kind of the image. Now, I would like to try the, the trike. I guess I could try refining this. But I would like to try doing a uh, a sort of a mosaic on the ground using a similar kind of image. Maybe another thing with the trike would be cool. So if we go ahead and take this out, um, I am thinking what I will do is, go ahead and remove that. I'm thinking what I will do is go and create a large circle. And instead of using the techniques we've used uh, in the past for creating a circle where you use the fence foundations and create a 16 or a 32 sided shape, I'm gonna create a pixel circle. So the same way I used this technique to turn an image of a charging trike into a pixelated one, I'm going to take a circle, figure out exactly how to make say a, a you know a 50 wide or so circle. Um, I'll find a flat enough spot to do it or I'll do it with some S plus ceilings and then we might come in and try and do a a mosaic using that a sort of a ground mosaic that you could have as the center point of a city and this one for now will work on the wall i'm curious to know what you think do you have any walls this big would you try anything this ridiculous? Would this work for you anywhere in your place? Obviously, we ended up only being 11 blocks high, and you could certainly do different designs that would work there. And obviously, you could do something with paint as well if you wanted to go crazy and, and pretend each of these walls is a pixel. You could have a lot of fun painting a gigantic image on a wall this size. That would be true Bob Ross of Ark, but I don't think I'm good enough to do that. So anyway, let me move on to creating a gigantic circle, and I will come back to you guys. All right, guys, this was such a massive project. I decided to create an alternate, uh, a sort of a, a tips and tricks video on how to do this, how to make a pixel circle uh, in Arc. And we're going to use the, the technique we use to create the pixel circle, basically, which is, you know, reduce the circle down until it is the exact width in pixels of the shape that you want to do in the game. And uh, I did the same thing with an image of a sort of a screaming trike head. And I'm looking at it and it looks fantastic. And I think I'm going to get crazy because the biggest problem with it is that it is like many different colors. And so I think I'm going to do the thing I said I didn't have the ability to do in the first uh, chunk of the video. And I'm going to try to the best of my ability to do this. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But try to the best of my ability to do this using the spray painter and spray paint. So if we do something like that, that is going to be... The top of the head, there's going to be a horn going out that way, a horn going out that way, a face coming down here with a little nose horn, a open mouth, and then a giant frill taking up this top, this kind of the whole right side of the thing. So I think I have the image down. Think like old Chicago Bulls logo, but instead of a bull, it's a trike. That sort of an image. So I've got the thing on my screen. I've fit it inside a 49 pixel circle. I've got the entire image pixelated. I know my starting point, and I think I'm just going to go off camera and try and do this. Not bad. Not bad at all. I am pretty impressed so far, guys. So I've used quite a few different colors, a lot of forest green, uh, tan, olive. Those would be the three biggest ones. And then brown, slate and mud and then around the eye we have a little cantaloupe around the mouth you also have brick tangerine uh, and 
I have filled in most of the face. Now on this part of the face, I haven't done a ton of detail. It's mostly just solid green. And that's because there is so much um, sort of static in the pattern of Adobe ceilings. Uh, as you can see, it all just looks worn out from a distance, but I think that looks really good. So when it comes to the fringe, I've gone and done the outside and the bones. I followed along with the pixel art, the pixelized art. It didn't start as pixel art. It started as a very detailed cartoon trike, uh, but it's really come together. I like how the horns look. I like the shape of the fringe. Now, when it comes to the fringe, I do need to add in detail, and it'll be more of this. As you guys see, the slate and the brown around the outside of the fringe. Actually, it's all slate. Um, and the little little bits of olive on those bits of horn. I have some down here. I have not done that out here. So like, we'll get to a point like this and we'll want to do, is that olive? Did I pick the right one? We'll want to do something, you know, like, like this, right? Just a, just a little hint on that one. And then just a little hint on this one. And so we'll go ahead and I'm going to fill in this giant fringe. I think that's about as much detail as I can manage for the eye. I suppose I could try and go make it more detailed, but I think we're going to leave the eye as that single pixel of orange. And we'll have that sort of like a bag under the eye, that that uh, uh, olive color. I tried using the bright green. Does not work. Way, way too fluorescent. Uh, so I'm going to work on this fringe, guys, and I will come back to you once again. BRB. We did it. We absolutely did it. It is one of the cooler things I have ever done in this game. A giant Triceratops mosaic turned out pretty fantastic. Uh, so I'm a little tempted to do the outside in a color that would stand out like a white or something, but I'm worried that that would look too close to the horns. Uh, so if we did say, or silver, silver is very close to white. If we did this, is this gonna be too close to the same color? Yeah, what about white? White may work. That is a contrasty enough with the tan that it could work. I don't know what to do. I really want this thing to stand out. Or you change the horns and you change the tan out for white, and then you do the outside in a different... or. Or you do the outside in a different material altogether. There's so many options um, once you get going with this, guys, that, that you could really you could really have a lot of fun. I really wouldn't know where to stop and call this done. But as a proof of concept, compared to the wall, I think it works much, much better. I think this is a cooler concept than the wall. Okay, so if this was around the outside, this would be should be enough of a a contrast. I would think. Now let's wait for that to get replaced. I wonder if it's worth it to replace all of the... Because then it'll stand out. I've got the same wear pattern on the outside as I do over the paint, and I don't know if that looks good. Yeah, maybe I'm going to do the whole thing in stone. This is going to take a while. Okay, I'm doing it. BRB. So how did we do, guys? I don't know what to think. I think when I switched to the stone, it might have been a mistake. It certainly stands out more. Uh, the design of the trike is more obvious. However, it looks less like a pattern, say, painted on the stone or built out of the stone using different, you know, colors of, of say, clay or marble or whatever whatever you would do a mosaic out of. Uh, it looks, it looks, it stands out more, but it looks less like a design on a floor. Now, if you were to build something to this massive scale, this circle is 49 ceilings across, uh, you're building huge anyway. And I can imagine this as, say, the centerpiece to a city, having a village or buildings around the outside, or if you build a really big base or a really big landing pad for your creatures, you could do something like this. I think it's a neat design. Now, um, the choice between the stone and the adobe here was a tough one. Um, I think... If this is the center point to a city and a plaza, I think you keep it all adobe. And um, and I think it makes sense because this area, let's say this is painted and say not a, a true mosaic. Um, let's say it is painted. It makes sense to have this wear and tear, right? And you would have this wear and tear and, and what, what it 
you know, the areas here where it would be worn and torn uh, is what the outside should look like. For example, this is the area with no paint. This is the area that has been painted. Some of it has worn away. The outside should look like this and match it. So maybe if I hadn't done the horns in tan and we could do the outside completely in tan uh, adobe, that would be the way to go. The stone, like I said, it definitely stands out more, but it doesn't look as natural. I'm still pretty impressed with the thing, guys. I think it turned out really, really well. I, it's 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 fascinating. I really enjoy it. it as a concept. It was really fun to attempt and a nice out of the box thing. I really like how at ground level you have no idea what you're walking on. It's not obvious at all that these different chunks of color uh, mean anything. That there is any kind of rhyme or reason to this pattern. Now, once you get over here and you see these different colors, you think, yeah, maybe, maybe there is something going on. But when you're in the middle of the frill, you have no idea. And the fringe, I don't know what you call that on the back of a trike's head. And then you get up top and you go, ooh, wow. Okay, now I see the image. Now it's obvious. But when you're on ground level, it's not obvious at all. So is this something you would ever do? And if so, if you do do something like this, please send me the pictures. I would love to see them, guys. But I think for today, that is going to end our video. We started with a very simple attempt at a wall mosaic using different materials and a charging trike, uh, basically a two-color design, adobe walls with wood for the trike. Eh, it was okay. And then we got to the floor mosaic, and we swapped from wood materials to a paint sprayer to painting Bob Ross of Ark style and seeing what we can come up with. And this is the final design. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. All right, guys, so popping up on your screen right now are links to the video on how to build a giant pixel circle like this and, uh, and, and another My Tips and Tricks playlist. So let me know what you think. I'll be down in the comments. I can't wait to talk to you about this massive trike mosaic. Uh, I'm UTC, and I will see you geeks in the next video.